Okay, all right. So now we have got pengangkutan. So pengangkutan, I told you, you consist of two things. Number one, it consists of manusia, dan yang kedua adalah tumbuhan. Okay, it consists of human being and also the plant. Manusia punya kita panggil dia sebagai sistem peredaran darah dan tumbuhan punya dikenali sebagai sistem vascular. Okay, and sistem peredaran darah another name we have is jantung and for tumbuhan we have phloem and also xylem. Okay, and we also learn last week about jantung. Di mana fungsi jantung adalah untuk pam darah ke seluruh badan, okay? And we also learn how to draw the jantung. Now, bahagian-bahagian jantung you must remember the name. We have got aorta, vena pulmonary, atrium kiri, injap bicuspid, ventricle kiri, ventricle kanan, injap tricuspid, atrium kanan, vena cava dan juga atri pulmonary. So these are the names that you all need to know. Okay, these are the names that you all need to know. So, but there is another two more injap. Kita ada injap sabit, which is the semilunar valve on the left and on the right. Okay, injap sabit sebelah kiri, the injap sabit sebelah kanan. That one I will teach you all in the next part of the lesson. Okay, for first part, this is what we need to know. Okay, all right. So, we also learned a little bit about injap. Okay, we also learned a little bit about injap. Di mana injap fungsi dia adalah untuk memastikan darah mengalir sehala saja. That means it makes sure it goes in one way. Okay. Now, so today what we're going to do, we have already covered all this. So what are we going to do today is, first thing first, boys and girls, kita akan belajar tentang tiga benda. We're going to study about the three main important things, which is the artery, vena and also capillary. Okay, we're going to start by teaching the artery, vena and also Capillary. Let's start by writing there about artery. Pelajar tulis pasal artery. Okay. Today we are going to learn about artery. Okay. And for artery boys and girls, uh, planning to teach you all. There are four points you all need to know. Okay. Ada empat point yang kamu kena tahu about the artery. Okay. So what is the function of artery? Okay. Apakah ciri-ciri artery dan apakah fungsi artery? Let's go into one by one. Huh? So, artery, remember this, dia mempunyai, tulis, okay, dia mempunyai dinding yang tebal. First word, first point, ah, mempunyai dinding yang tebal. Point yang kedua, dia mempunyai lumen. Sir, apa itu lumen? Lumen dalam biasa, we call it as lubang. Okay, hold lah. So, dia mempunyai lubang yang sangat kecil. Okay, you just can write that kecil. Tak payah tulis sangat kecil, just write that kecil is cukup. Okay, point yang ketiga. Okay, dia juga berotot. Okay, dia berotot. And you also need to know that dia tidak mempunyai injap. Okay, dia tidak mempunyai Injap. So boys and girls, these are the ciri-ciri of the artery. Okay, remember this. Ah, huh? keempat-empat ini dikenali sebagai ciri-ciri artery. So if the question asks you, apakah ciri-ciri artery? You can mention that artery mempunyai dinding yang tebal, lumen dia ala bersaiz kecil, dia berotot dan dia tidak mempunyai injap. So these are the points you need to know for artery. Ini ala dia punya apa? Ciri. Ciri. Next, the last point, let's talk about the fungsi of the artery. Okay, apakah fungsi artery? What is the function of artery? Artery fungsi dia adalah untuk mengangkut, okay, adalah untuk mengangkut darah oksigen, okay, mengangkut darah oksigen keluar dari jantung, okay, mengangkut darah oksigen keluar dari jantung, ke seluruh badan, okay? Ke seluruh badan, ke seluruh badan, okay? Kecuali peparu, kecuali peparu. So boys and girls, this is the main function. So you just have to remember, fungsi dia adalah untuk membawa atau mengangkut darah beroksigen, okay? Fungsi dia adalah untuk membawa darah beroksigen, and remember dia kena keluar daripada jantung. So the keyword here is keluar daripada jantung. Okay, dia membawa darah beroksigen keluar daripada jantung. This is a very important fakta yang kamu kena tahu dalam PT3 science. Alright, good. Okay, now let's go into the second one. 
let's go into the second one. So kita dah habis A3, mari kita pergi yang kedua. Kita pergi yang kedua dikenali sebagai vena. Okay, we are going to talk about the vena. So what are the points you can talk about the vena? Now very simple, vena dengan atri kan? It's always, uh, how to say? Mereka selalu akan berlawanan. Okay, it's always the berlawanan. So for me, usually I will tell my students not to memorize vena. Jangan hafal vena. Sir, kenapa jangan hafal vena? Because for me, vena is actually the opposite. Okay, dia akan melawan dengan siapa? Artery. For example, ah, let's do one by one. Ah, anyway, you all write down later how you all study. It's up to you all. Okay, alright. So artery. Kalau kamu tengok dekat sini artery, dia mempunyai dinding yang tebal. Artery mempunyai dinding yang tebal. So the keyword here is tebal. The keyword here is tebal. Kalau artery mempunyai dinding yang tebal, vena dia akan mempunyai, okay, dia akan mempunyai dinding yang nipis. Right now, okay. Dia mempunyai dinding yang nipis. Okay. Next. Point yang kedua. Point yang kedua di atas dia kata lumen dia adalah kecil. So di sini lumen dia adalah besar. Okay. Next. Point yang ketiga. Di sini dia kata bahawa dia adalah berotot. Okay. Dia adalah berotot. Di sini dia adalah kurang berotot. Okay, kurang berotot. It has muscle, but it's very less. Huh? Okay, next point number four. Point number four. Di sini dia kata tidak mempunyai injak. Okay, but vena di sini dia mempunyai injak. Okay, vena dia mempunyai injak. And let's look at the last point here. Dia kata mengangkut darah oksigen keluar dari jantung mengangkut darah oksigen keluar dari jantung so kalau ini dia mengangkat darah oksigen di sini dia akan mengangkut okey dia akan mengangkut darah terdioksigen okey dia akan mengangkat darah terdioksigen ini keluar dari paru-paru ini dia balik semula balik semula ke peparu. Okay. Dia akan berbalik semula ke peparu. Okay. So, vena akan membawa balik semula ke peparu. Dari mana? Daripada seluruh badan. Daripada seluruh badan. Okay. So, you see the keyword here. Mempunyai dinding yang nipis. Lumen dia ala besar. Kurang berotot. Mempunyai injap. And dia mengangkut darah terdi oksigen. So these are the points that you all need to know. Okay. So kita dah habis vena dan kita dah habis atri. Okay. So that's why bila dalam soalan bila dia suruh kamu lukis atri kan. Listen lah. Dalam soalan bila dia suruh kamu lukis atri, you draw a big circle like this. Disebabkan lumen dia ala besar kan. Ah, uh, you akan lukis lumen dia macam ni. Eh, sorry, lumen dia kecil kan. So you akan lukis lumen dia macam ni. Ah, uh, that the lumen is small. Nampak? So basically, what you need to know is that. This one here, ada dua benda yang kamu kena tahu. Ha? This gambar dengan this point here. Okay, there are two points you need to know. Ha? So, because this one here, yang tak bahagian dalam ni, ini dikenali sebagai lumen. Sebab lumen dia lah, kecil. And ini dikenali sebagai dia punya otot. Eh? They say mempunyai otot atau dinding yang tebal. Okay, you can say otot or you can say the dinding dia. Nampak? Dia adalah tebal. Okay, if you compare this, ha? see I use a green color. Ha? Kalau kamu tengok dekat sini, ah, this is the otot. Nampak? Otot dia memang sangat tebal. But let's look at the lumen. Let's look at lumen. I use purple color. Ha? I highlight using uh, uh, purple color. Ha? Okay. So, you tengok lumen dia. It's small. Okay. So, ini menunjukkan bahawa dia mempunyai dinding yang sangat tebal dan lumen yang sangat apa? Ke kecil. Cik. But whereby artery. Okay. But whereby when it comes to artery, right? Uh, sorry, vena. When it comes to vena, tengok sini. ya. Ha? Okay. When it comes to vena, I'm drawing the same picture. But let's look at Vena. Apa dia kata? Vena dia kata dinding dia nipis tetapi lumen dia apa? Besar. So what you do is, you are going to draw something like this. Nampak? Ah, you will draw something like this. Okay? So, the same thing. Okay? They'll ask you to labelkan this. Okay? You must know the name for this. And you must know the name for this. The same thing. Okay? 
Ini adalah dia punya dinding. Okay. Dinding atau utut. Dan ini adalah dia punya lumen. The hole is big. Alright. Okay, students. Any questions? If there's any question, okay, you can WhatsApp me later on and I'll do a video for based on your question. So, this is about artery and this is about vena. Yang ketiga, students. Yang ketiga, okay, yang ketiga, now we are going to talk about the capillary darah. Okay, capillary darah. So, what we are going to talk about the capillary darah. Apa yang kita nak cakap pasal capillary darah. Okay. About capillary darah, you remember, kita ada empat point. There are four points for you to remember. Okay. Now, what you want to talk about capillary is, number one, dia tiada otot. Okay. Dia tiada otot. Okay, let me use a blue color pen so it's easy for you to read. Okay. Dia tiada otot. This is your first point. Yang kedua, dia juga tiada injap. Okay, dia juga tiada injap dan dia mempunyai lumen. Okay, tetapi lumen dia adalah sangat kecil. Student, you must write the word sangat. You must write the word sangat. Okay, perkataan sangat tu kena ada dekat sana. Okay, and the last one you need to know apa fungsi dia. Okay, fungsi dia... Okay, for capillary, dia akan membenarkan resapan berlaku. Okay, dia akan membenarkan, dia akan membenarkan resapan berlaku. Okay, dia akan membenarkan resapan berlaku. Okay, it will allow the process of diffusion to happen. Dia akan membenarkan resapan berlaku. Now, many students will also ask me, Sir, this fellow is doing the resapan, sir. Resapan ni dia guna untuk apa? It does for a few things. Okay, it does for a few things. Number one, resapan ni ya, dia digunakan untuk nombor satu, dia digunakan untuk resapan gas. Okay. Yang kedua adalah untuk resapan bahan kumuh. Okay, resapan gas, resapan bahan kumuh. And yang ketiga is resapan nutrien. So, what is nutrien? Nutrient here, we are talking about makanan telarut. Okay. So, remember this. Huh? Dia akan menjalankan proses resapan. And dia apa benda yang dia akan meresap? Dia akan meresap gas, bahan kumuh dan juga nutrient. Apa itu nutrient? Nutrient ialah bahan telarut. Okay. So, now let's study about capillary. So, remember this. Capillary, tiada otot, tiada injap. Lumen dia adalah sangat kecil. And fungsi dia membenarkan proses resapan berlaku. Apa yang dia resap? Dia akan meresap gas, bahan kumuh dan juga makanan telah perut. Okay, students. Alright. Any questions, students? Please WhatsApp me or ask me in. Uh, you can ask me in Facebook or you can ask me in Instagram. Okay, no problem about that. Alright. Okay. So, students, I think everything is okay. Alright. Now, um, 